A health alert tonight. Health experts and medical groups are trying to stop claims that a medicine used to treat parasites in farm animals can help combat COVID-19. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Burroughs here. Lauren, this drug ivermectin really has doctors so concerned. Yeah, for a multitude of reasons, so many medical organizations are calling on people not to take the medicine and for doctors to stop prescribing it. It's not approved by the FDA to treat COVID. The amounts being prescribed can be extremely dangerous and there's just no evidence the medicine works for the virus. Tens of thousands of prescriptions have already been filled across the U.S., but multiple doctors and medical agencies warn ivermectin should not be used to treat COVID-19. This is something that unfortunately has become, um, again, a, a misinformation campaign that's so well done. It is tricking people into believing that there is some benefit with this medication. According to the CDC, by mid-August, U.S. pharmacies filled 88,000 prescriptions for ivermectin, a 24-fold increase from pre-COVID levels, while at the same time, U.S. poison control centers have seen a five-fold increase in emergency calls related to the drug. If you take something that you're not supposed to, you run the risk of toxicity. You run the risk of increasing side effects. U.S. Health Jacksonville's Dr. Sharag Patel says side effects like rash, itching, swelling, fever. And if you're somebody who takes a blood thinner like Coumadin, you actually can increase your bleeding risk with a medication like Ivermectin. This week, the American Medical Association and two pharmacist groups released this statement. We are urging physicians, pharmacists, and other prescribers, trusted healthcare professionals in their communities, to warn patients against the use of ivermectin outside of FDA-approved indications and guidance. You hear from people, though, there's so much unknown with COVID, and people just want to try just about anything. And in a way, people are saying, well, we don't have a lot of data about a lot of things. What's wrong with trying this? The risks of taking ivermectin for COVID outweigh the known benefits, and that's why we don't recommend it. It's just like, you know, taking something ludicrous like drinking bleach to try to clean your body or drinking hand soap because hand soap takes the germs off your hands. You wouldn't drink hand soap to clean the germs from your body. Dr. Patel says the only reason anyone should be taking this medication is to treat what it is intended for. And for right now, according to the FDA and CDC, that is not COVID-19. Now, I did speak to a doctor in our area who is prescribing ivermectin to his patients. He tells me he's hearing from his patients that it actually has cut down on how sick someone is when they get the virus. However, he did not want to speak to me on camera because of the negative publicity surrounding the prescription of this medication. Joy, Tark. Thanks, Lauren.